Hey, it's Dr. Infinity. Welcome to White Pill Media. Have a white pill on me. This is not really a, a white pill video, I guess if you want to call it that, uh, or even like necessarily a recommendation. But uh, just recently I was kind of thinking about some older games I've been playing, uh, maybe buying a few of them for kind of just nostalgia's sake and is this game really as good as I remember it? Uh, but so I thought about Dishonored, uh, cause I remember liking it, playing it, I guess several years ago. I never played the second one and I remember thinking the first game was like, okay, not a favorite or anything, but like a pretty decent game. And then I didn't hear like great things about the second one. So I never really bothered. But one thing that just kind of stood out to me, which doesn't really make sense to me. And I've looked on the wiki and all that uh and it still doesn't make like any any fucking sense to me is so there's the empress caldwin and your corvo and the empress is not married right and in the first game the empress gets assassinated and the plot just starts from there and emily is her daughter and it's super heavily implied that emily is also your daughter right so you and the empress got together had this kid um but the Empress isn't married to you. You know what I mean? So something that like uh, I just don't really grasp is like we're in a, I, I guess, kind of like sort of not exactly medieval times. I, I guess maybe like a industrial revolution kind of period, right? But we still have like uh, this royal la line. There's, uh, I guess, nobility and all that. And we have our unmarried empress becoming pregnant, giving birth to a, a child. And then that child is legitimate, like she can be seen at court and all of that. And like the whole world's just like, okay with that? Because I was just thinking like, even just like uh, kings, like, uh, and I guess like other just uh, male nobility, they would have bastards and all that. But like, I'm pretty sure like they wouldn't be like, openly like hey my bastard child my illegitimate child is like at the court with me or, or whatever you know i don't think they like i think some of them were probably cared for and they might have had some level of relationship with like their parents um but it, it just like it's weird because it's like you wouldn't like have your bastard child just like out in the open and like that would just cause a scandal you know like it could be a weapon used against you uh, and I don't think, like, the religious section would really be okay with it. And the other nobles, if they're trying to vie for the throne, it's something they can attack you over. Uh, so it just kind of breaks the immersion a bit for me for the whole dishonored world where we kind of have this uh, militant religious faction and which doesn't like the empress. Uh, and, yeah, just the other nobility. Uh, and then we just have the Empress and this child out of wedlock. Like, it would be one thing if, like, uh, the Empress, like, went on vacation, quote-unquote, for, like, several months when, like, she was, like, showing in her pregnancy, gave birth, went back to court, and, like, Emily was, like, uh, her kid, but it wasn't, like, uh, out in the open, right? I don't know. There's just something I thought about. Uh, I, I feel like that's just kind of, like, clumsy world-building, like, uh, it's not like a, a sexist thing. Like, I, I still like think if it was just like, uh, this is the emperor, this is the emperor's illegitimate child that could still like potentially cause a scandal. But I, I think it was probably a lot easier for, um, the bastards of like a male nobility to become legitimate or, uh, to have more of a place. Like, I think William the Conqueror was a bastard. I think so. I'm not positive. But, I don't know. Just a, a little rambling video. Uh, just something to think about. I don't know. Maybe they explained it in, like, Dishonored 2. I, I'm not that interested in checking it out. Uh, just to see. But, I don't know. I don't really get that. That's it. There's other shit on my channel. Some of it's funny. A lot of it's not. Thanks.